in today's world there is almost no area of technical endeavor that is not impacted in some way by digital image processing this session has covered few of the applications of digital image processing in this session to understand the application of image processing the images are categorized according to their sources the principal energy source for image are electromagnetic bands or electromagnetic energy spectrum in this session we will discuss how images are generated in various categories and the areas where they are applied electromagnetic waves can be conceptualized as waves of varying wavelength or massless particle each traveling in a wave like pattern each massless particle contain certain amount of photon or energy if spectral bands are grouped according to energy per photon we obtain spectrum ranging from gamma rays to radio waves major uses of imaging based on gamma rays include nuclear medicine and astronomical observations in nuclear medicine the patient is injected with a radioactive isotope that emits gamma rays as it decays images are produced from the emission collected by gamma ray detectors the image here shows a bone scan obtained using gamma ray imaging these images can be used to detect infections uh, and tumors in bones another modality of nuclear imaging is positron emission tomography in this method patient is given a radioactive isotope that emits positron as it decays the image shown here is a can clear we can clearly see the tumor in brain and another in the lung that is very visible as small white masses x rays are the oldest source of electromagnetic radiation used for imaging x rays are majorly used for medical diagnostic x rays are generated using an x ray tube which is a vacuum tube with a cathode and anode when cathode is heated it releases free electrons these flow at a very high speed to the positively charged anode when electrons strike a nucleus energy is released in the form of x ray radiation the figure here shows a chest x ray angiography is another major application in the area called contrast enhancement radiography this procedure is used to obtain images of blood vessels called angiograms a small flexible hollow tube is inserted into the area under study further an x-ray contrast medium is injected through the tube this will enhance the contrast of blood vessel and help the radiologist to see the irregularities or blockages this figure is an example of aortic angiogram in this figure you can also see the hollow tube or the catheter that is being inserted into the blood vessel on the lower left of the image Another important use of x-rays in the field of medical imaging is computerized axial tomography. CAT image is a slice taken perpendicularly through the patient. Numerous slices are generated as patient is moved in longitudinal directions. The ensemble of such images constitute a 3D rendition of the inside of body. The image here shows a CAT of human head. Applications in ultraviolet band include industrial applications microscopy biological imaging astronomical observations etc ultraviolet light is used in fluorescence microscopy which is one of the fastest growing areas of microscopy when a photon of ultraviolet radiation collides with an electron in an atom of fluorescent material it elevates the electron to a higher energy level the excited electron relaxes to a lower level and emits light in the form of lower energy photon in the visible light region fluorescence microscopy is used for studying uh, materials that can be made to fluoresce this figure here shows the fluorescence microscope image of normal cone and cone infected by smut the application in these bands are too numerous to discuss here Uh, few of the applications we'll be discussing remote sensing is one of the major application images of population centers are used to assess the population growth shift patterns and other factors affecting the environment weather observation and prediction also are major applications of multispectral image from satellites
in the first figure you can see the eye of the hurricane that is clearly visible in the image of hurricane katrina another application in the visible spectrum is automated visible inspection of manufactured goods the second image shows the controller board of cd rom drive image processing task can identify the missing part in the board third image shows a pill container machine can look for missing incomplete deformed pills the fourth image shows the application that can identify bottles that are not filled up to an acceptable level the principal application of imaging in microwave band is radar imaging in radar can collect data over virtually any region at any time regardless of weather or ambient lighting conditions some radar waves can penetrate clouds and under certain conditions they can also see vegetations ice and dry sands in many cases radar is the only way to explore inaccessible regions of earth's surface a radar uses an antenna and digital computer to record its images in these images one can only see the microwave energy that is re reflected back towards the radar antenna This figure here shows a radar image covering a rugged mountainous area of southeast Tibet. The major application of imaging in the radio band are in medicine and astronomy. In medicine, radio waves are used in magnetic resonance imaging (MRI). This technique places the patient in a powerful magnet and passes radio waves through the individual's body in short pulses. each pulse causes a responding pulse of radio waves to be emitted by the patient's tissues the computer produces a two dimensional image of a section of the patient this figure here shows an mri images of human knee and spine so in this session we had discussed few of the applications in each of the electromagnetic bands in the next session let us look into the fundamental steps in digital image processing